Hi, my name is Tony Fleming, head chef of Angler Restaurant at South Place Hotel. The dish we're going to be cooking today is roast scallop with braised breast of lamb. We're going to braise that with some uh, meantime pale ale, and this is going to be served with some anchovies, some broad beans, and a little bit of mint. So we've got a breast of lamb which we've deboned, uh, not a very common part of the animal uh, that's used, but more so the, these days, which is fantastic. Into the tray. Just some uh, sea salt, toasted coriander seeds, just coriander seeds toasted in a pan and then we just break them up uh, just to release some of the flavour. A few sticks of thyme, rosemary. So we leave this overnight, 24 hours. And on this side, this is where we're going to put the anchovies. So you've got the, uh, the skin side here, uh, we put that side down and then this is the inside of the animal, the flesh side. We leave, put these anchovies in, and actually when we put these in, we leave these in when they cook these as well, so this takes on the flavour and these will help. Uh, they, they, when we cook it, they'll just disintegrate, you won't know they're there, but when you eat the dish, you'll realise what they've done. Okay, so a good uh, generous amount of salt. And then we'll cling film this nice and tight to keep out any air. And then what we actually do, we, we turn this halfway through the marinade, marinade time, so after 12 hours we'll turn it, and uh, just to make sure it gets a good covering. Some more coriander seeds at the end. And that's our breast of lamb, left for 24 hours, and then we come to cooking it. The star of the dish really is the scallop. We're just going to open and clean these now. Then we just release the muscle, clean around the skirt here. But all we want here, we're going to use today, we're not going to use the roe, we're just going to use the eye of the scallop. So let's take off the muscle. I've got to be really gentle here, not to, uh, you know, such a, a beautiful piece of nature, we don't want to ruin it, and the, the rest from the skirt will come round. And then we're going to wash that, we set that uh, overnight as well, it's quite important with scallops, they need to set and rest as well for a while. Uh, and when that's done, uh, we're going to pan fry it whole. So this is our, this is our lamb breast, so marinated overnight, uh, cooked for two to three to four hours, uh, depending on the size. It's been cooked nicely, you can see it's a nice good colour. It cooked uh, long and slow, so it's not brown and, uh, and dry, you know, so it's long and slow, so it's still got that nice pink colour as well. Uh, it's a very tough piece of meat, the breast, obviously, uh, so long and slow is the key. Okay, so now we're going to pan fry the lamb's uh, breast, make it a little bit crispy, about 30 seconds on each side, just to get a little bit of crispiness, a nice little bit of colour. And now this is where we add the beer. And as I said, we add the beer quite late on in the cooking process so that we keep it nice and fresh. So we take the pale out. You don't want to add about, I don't know, 100, gram, 100 millilitres or so. Not too much. Add that in, reduce it down, not too much. Baste that over the top of the lamp. Okay, so that's reduced enough now. Nearly to a syrup. And then we're going to add uh, some of our stock uh, that we cooked it with, which has been reduced down. And let's give it a really good, deep, rich flavour. And again, we'll just taste that as we go, so we know how much, we don't want to cover up the taste of the beer, you see. This is all about the beer. What is really important with cooking, sometimes when you're adding ingredients or adding with flavours, you don't want to take away from the main ingredient. Some people, restraint is very important in cooking, and some people don't know when to stop. We're going to take that a little bit more, just to glaze it up, and then that's ready, and then we'll start to cook the scallop and do the garnish. Turn the scallop and then a good, uh, generous amount of butter, and we take it off the heat. We want the butter to go brown. We don't want it to burn. And we just gently cook that so the butter goes brown, gives it a nice nutty flavour and foams, and we just leave that on the side. And again, give that about 20 seconds, and that will take, then we give it a rest, just for about another, another 30 seconds. See, timing is key, timing is essential. And then lemon juice, and then again, Good glaze, perfectly cooked scallop. Okay, so now we're ready to plate up our, our lamb breast and scallop dish. So first element we take is our uh, lamb breast that's been resting. As you can see, nice and uh, sticky and glazed. And then we have our puree of broad beans, so it's uh, broad bean shallots and uh, a little bit of uh, chicken stock as well. And next, we have uh, an anchovy mayonnaise. And then we have our broad beans, just heated in uh, a butter emulsion. So just pieces of tomato that we've air dried ourselves here. And then we've got our scallop. And then finally, just to finish, we've got some uh, oyster leaves. 
and they're great with this. And all these oyster leaves have a natural saltiness, a good grassy uh, taste as well, which again is uh, very similar to what we found with the taste with the pale ale as well. So it worked perfectly. So that's our uh, braised lamb breast uh, with the meantime pale ale, roast Orkney scallop, uh, broad beans, broad bean puree, anchovy mayonnaise, uh, finished with the oyster leaves. <laughs>